In this video, we'll look at what happens when we mix FeCl2 plus H2O. That's iron 2 chloride plus water. Iron, that's a metal, and then chlorine's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound, and often they're soluble in water. We also have this chloride. When we have a metal attached to a chloride, that's usually pretty soluble too. But we should check a solubility table just to make sure. So this is a solubility table. We're going to look at the positive ions here. When we go down, we're looking for iron 2. There it is, Fe2 plus, iron 2. And then the negatives, we'll look for a chloride. And here's the chloride right here, Cl minus. So we go down until they cross, and there's an S. S stands for soluble. So FeCl2, that's soluble in water. So now we can go back and write the equation. So Fe FeCl2, that is a solid, and water is a liquid. So we put FeCl2 in water, and we know because it's soluble, it's going to dissolve, and it'll break apart into its ions at Fe2 plus and the Cl minus. So let's write that, Fe2 plus Cl minus. Since we have a subscript here of two, that means there are two chlorines, two chloride ions. So we should put a two in front of the Cl minus to show that. Next, because we've dissolved this in water, we say that it's aqueous, AQ. That means dissolved in water. So we write AQ, and that shows that these are actually in water. Because of that, we don't need to write water on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for FeCl2 plus water, iron 2 chloride plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.